Good morning, everybody. We have a different story hour for you today. We have an author here with us today, Mr. Hiram Smith. How are you doing, Mr. Hiram? Just fine, and yourself? Good. So you're from Macomb. I am. And you've got a book out that's been published. How many books do you have published? Just one right now. Okay. Are you writing some more? Yes, there's, this is a series. There's two other books to follow, and then another one. Okay. Okay. Well, what? What made you want to write children's books? Well, it was a longing between a relationship between a father and a son and uh, siblings together. So, you know, I just, I don't know, it just came to him one day to write this book. Right. So would this be kind of about your son or? Yes, it's about my, my oldest son. It is. Okay. And how many children do you have? Five. Five children. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. He's the oldest. Yeah, well, that's exciting. Well, Mr. Hiram today is going to read his book for Story Hour for y'all, so listen in. Okay. Jonathan finds a friend at home. The sun was peeking through the curtains of Jonathan's room. It's morning, he whispered. He quickly dressed, brushed his teeth, washed his face, and ran down the stairs. Good morning, Mom, shouted Jonathan. It's Saturday. Yes, it is, Jonathan, Mom said softly. May I go outside to play? I might find a friend to play with today, he said with a grin. Sure, but stay in the yard, Mom said. Okay, Mom, replied Jonathan. Jonathan walked outside to find a friend to play with. As he looked around, he spotted two beautiful butterflies. They were the most beautiful butterflies he had ever seen. They were fluttering around Jonathan, chasing each other. So Jonathan, being of a curious nature, walked over to the butterflies and said, Hi, my name is Jonathan. Can I play chase with you? Sure you can play with us, replied the butterflies. My name is Kalama, and this is my friend Damo, said Kalama. We play chase all the time. We fly here and there and everywhere, they said. Ready to play, Jonathan? I'm ready, he replied. Good, because you are red, shouted Kalama. Jonathan chased after Damo first and tried to tag him but Damo flew too fast for Jonathan. Then he turned to chase after Kalama, but she flew high and out of Jonathan's sight. Jonathan had to stop chasing because he was tired and out of breath. I can't catch you. You fly too high, too fast for me, said Jonathan. How about we play ball, asked Jonathan. Sure, said Damo. How do you play ball? Kalama asked, looking confused. Jonathan began to teach them how to play ball. I'll throw the ball to you, Kalama, and then you throw it to Dama, and then Dama throws it back to me, explained Jonathan. So Jonathan threw the ball to Kalama so fast, it zoomed past Kalama, and Dama sent them swirling through the air, through the sky, through the air. The butterflies were frightened. Jonathan, we can't play this game anymore. Our wings are too fragile. They might get broken and then we won't be able to fly here and there and everywhere, exclaimed Kalama. We'll have to leave, Jonathan. Goodbye, said the butterflies. Jonathan sadly waved goodbye as he walked, watched the butterflies fly out of sight. Jonathan continued looking around the yard for a friend. friend. Suddenly he saw two squirrels climbing this huge oak tree. The squirrels were chasing each other up and down and all around the oak tree. Jonathan decided to climb the tree to introduce himself to the squirrels. Hello, my name is Jonathan, he said. Can I play with you, he asked politely. Yes, said the squirrels excitedly. My name is Red. This is Fox, 
We love to climb trees, they said. I like to climb trees too, said Jonathan. Let's go all the way to the top and then leap and the leap to the next branch, Fox replied. Wow, that's... That's scary. I would be scared. So Jonathan started climbing up the tree. As he went higher, he saw Red and Fox climb higher and higher up the tree too, jumping from limb to limb. I think that would have changed my mind oh, right there. Yes. Just then, Red and Fox looked behind them to see where Jonathan was. Jonathan had stopped because he couldn't climb as high as the squirrels could. Mm. Jonathan looked down and his legs began to tremble with fear. He thought he would not be able to get down after climbing so high. Suddenly, slowly, he began to crawl down the huge oak tree when he reached the ground. Fox and Red were there waiting for him. What happened? Jonathan asked Fred. I can't climb as high as you can. I was scared, exclaimed Jonathan. What else would you like to play? Asked Fox. Hmm. How would you like to ride around on my bike with me? Asked Jonathan. Well, okay, said Squirrels. Hop on, said Jonathan. First, Jonathan started out slow. Then he went faster and faster around the house. All of a sudden, the squirrels cried with a loud voice, Stop, Jonathan, stop! When Jonathan looked back to see if the squirrels were all right, he saw that they were most certainly not all right. They were afraid. He stopped the bike slowly. Are you all right? asked Jonathan. We are now, replied Red. Jonathan, this game is too dangerous for us. We are tree climbers, climbing here and there, jumping from branch to branch and tree to tree. It's what we do, said Red. I'm sorry that we can't play this game with you. Bye, Jonathan, said Fox. Bye, Red. Bye, Fox, replied Jonathan. The squirrels turned and raced up the huge oak tree. Jonathan was still searching for someone to play with. Just then, he saw his sister sitting on her bike, holding her ball. When she looked at her big brother, she gave him a big smile. Want to play with me, John? She asked. Yes, I want to play with you, Jonathan said with a big smile. Then he said in his heart, here is my friend. Jonathan has spent most of his Saturday looking for someone, something to play with. All the while, he had a friend, a very special friend indeed, his sister. Jonathan found his friend. Oh, that is such a good book. I love the story. You know, so many times you might be looking around for a friend to play with, but they're right there in the house with you. Yes, as and John you just, just found out. That's right. And you just think, oh, it'd be so much more fun with somebody else. But you know, your sisters and brothers are pretty fun to play with, too. They are. That's a good book, Mr. Hiram. Well, thank thank you. you. I enjoy writing it. Yes. Well, how can people get a copy of your book? Well, they can... Uh, Call me or go to Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, Books a Million, and they have the books there. You can get them on Kindle and you can get a hard copy. Okay, well, that's so neat. And we also have it in the library if yes. you want to check it out. Thank you. So I am so glad you came today. Thank you so much. What You're a welcome. wonderful story. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.